Well, here we are running through Blackbeard uh, Quelch here. Got a couple more turns, managed to take a merchant ship, this time a French one, adding to his attack value. His notoriety went up, he got 110. This is not the kind of money that you can win the game with, but, you know, capturing things gets you the notoriety, being able to sell things off, gets you some crew unrest value, you could DNR, whatever. And he's managed to pull into a Spanish port during that. Uh, Taylor got a turn in between. He didn't get to move very far. He's looking to go someplace he can heal. He did a search anyhow. There's kind of the don't waste a turn by not taking a search when you can. It, nothing came up. Of course, he had cheated to do his search before. So, I don't know. All right. Okay, so after Quelch's run, he got a scurvy event drawn on. Uh, drew a random event, reshuffled, got scurvy. He's now hurt with that. That's going to hurt his... Uh, his current crew unrest. Just something he has to start worrying about. Once you get down around there, eh, you're getting close to the mutiny rolls. So you can't really risk stuff anymore. Uh, he's got some recovery to do anyway, so he's gonna have to go home. But, did mean this uh, warship here is an issue. I had to look that, oh, and Maynard took more damage too. That warship's an issue, I had to look that up. It seems like they do not intercept on uh, an unrest thing. There's a whole list of things and it's under the unrest uh, event itself but it's not in the front part of the rules it's only in where you'd mostly be looking. Uh, it's buried in the uh, latter section of the rules but eh, it's okay but it's just a matter of you know again okay so what happens if you screw up? Eh, no big deal. Alright onward. Okay well we hit some interesting stuff here. First of all uh, low sailed into port and managed to get another activation and recover himself physically. Now, here's one thing. <clears throat> Some of you might be saying, hey, uh, Low could be... This guy's already got the victory conditions here. He wants to end the game. The best way of doing that is to kill off pirates. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, that's not easy to find here. I wanted to look to see if I had the end of game in here because I think... There we go. The game ends when any player has lost all three pirates. So, unless the eliminated player would win the game at that point, in which case it continues until a second player uh, loses his pirates. So, hunting down one player's pirates is a viable option at this point for this guy. He thinks he's got a good score in place and he'd like to. The problem is, the only thing he can do is King's Commissioners. <clears throat> And trying to raise a king's commissioner. If he had one already, that would be great. But trying to raise one on someone else, well, the way you go about that is you have to roll under their notoriety. Now, this guy's got an 11, and you use the 11 to 66 dice for that. That's not very likely. Somebody's got to be doing well to start hunting them. Um, of course, you could get the lucky draw, like the king's commissioner activated, that a couple of people have gotten. Hmm. I forgot to put one of them out here, and he's got scurvy now, Matthews. He's got a level of scurvy, too. Okay, anyway. Uh, but what Lowe did get was a bonus uh, mover draw warships here, which allowed him to sail this one, but also to make interception attempts here and here. He failed here, but here he's got kid caught. And that means he's going to force Kid to fight. Now, if Kid gets away, he still gets the five notoriety for him. One of the problems with warships is you cannot sink them. King's Commissioner, you can sink. Now, <coughs> uh, see if we've got the combat here somewhere. Ah, it's on the card. Uh, warship, it's just KC plus ability, so he's got six, nine... Versus a seven. Now let's take a look how warship fighting works. I think it's the same way KC's work, which means you each get a die roll in addition. Yeah, that'll be covered under the KC rules because you wouldn't want to have it. At... Okay. Um. So you're going to have a D12 on each. So Kid's going to have a plus two on his attack roll here, if I recall correctly. I don't know. 
Warships never suffer damage, but they resolve combat as a KC. Yeah. So let's roll for Kid first, and he's at plus two because he has good ratings. He only gets a five. The warship gets a six. That means Kid takes a point of damage. That hurts his crew. And he's got a possible injury chance. No. Now he gets, uh, I believe, another chance to get away. Nope. The winner gets to choose to... Uh, whether to continue or not. So the warship gets to keep going. Kit's now down to a plus one. You can see how this starts deteriorating rapidly. Ooh. That warship's going to be Spanish, so it will attack him. Kid gets an 11. The warship only gets a six. So that's a failure. Um, I believe Kid ends up taking a point of damage from that as well, though. Even winning a combat causes one, I think. Yep. The winner of each round suffers a point of damage. So he goes down one. This goes down one. He makes a casualty roll, which he gets. So we get to check to see what happens. He gets a healable wound. Uh... Gotta look up the effects of that sucker again. I don't know if I marked that. I think I did. I think a healable wound causes... Yeah, a minor wound causes another point. So Kid takes another one and he's down to four. He does get his five notoriety, though, for getting away from the warship. Assuming he manages to escape it. All right, and more bad stuff is happening. Warship intercepts most notorious pirate. We look for the most notorious on the board. Low is close with his 10. Unfortunately, it's Quelch. So he gets a new warship. Now, I don't know if this is an automatic interception. I highly doubt that. He's blockaded. Blockaded means... That gives him a minus one, and then a minus one in every random event. So he's got crew problems here. Now he could DNR, I think, to try to solve that, but that's real dangerous because you might get kicked out for DNRing, in which case uh, he would have to fight the warship, I think. Not positive. Um, we'll look up what the effects of being blockaded are. But right now, he's got this problem. If a KC comes in there, it can oust him, causing additional damage, as well as forcing a fight. Basically, this is a bad situation for Quelch. Um, he's stuck in the port. He can try to escape, and there's an automatic intercept chance. <coughs> but there's a lot of stuff he can't do. He can't sell booty and things like that while he's blockaded. It's an index which actually has some valuable stuff on it in terms of being able to look stuff up as you play as opposed to learning the game as you go uh, as, as, as in one slot. Um, any pirates suffer a penalty on the crew unrest? Yeah. The blockade is broken. Any pirates gain a point on the crew unrest? He cannot sell booty or ransom hostages, but he can recover himself and his ship before he heads out. But that is a problem. He wanted to empty his holds here. Hmm. Okay, so things just keep getting worse. Another random event which affects everybody's scurvy, as well as him for being blockaded, losing a, a point of uh, crew unrest. We've got uh, Kid's ship and Quelch's ship both damaged. Uh, we got these King Commissioners getting hurt here from their scurvy. Um... What we do see, though, is Quelch is down at the mutiny level. That means he has to make a mutiny check. Now, that's not on the board, but it's over here. Uh, you roll a die. If you get less than the leadership, you get to bonus. If you get equal to the leadership, you retire with any money you've stashed. Not just your net worth here. It has to actually be stashed. <laughs> Got to make sure... That I did that retiring right. I think I did. 
some things you need a safe page and to stash your money when you retire if you've got it on board. Okay, uh, let's see. So he has a leadership of two. He needs to roll a one, right? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, leadership survives the mutiny, reset the crew on rest to six. Yeah, that doesn't happen. So he has been marooned or abandoned. He's ditched from his ship. The notoriety goes away, as do a number of other things. And we're going to get a new pirate there. But that new pirate still has a lot of the possible problems. I'm not sure he's blockaded anymore because uh, the attack uh, value there. In fact, I'm not sure this could blockade him because it's not a Spanish ship, or because it's a Spanish ship. But nobody knows that until it's flipped, which it wouldn't have been at this point. So I, I think it can. I don't know. Anyway, we'll play it as it goes. Uh, let me see what goes away from him and what he, get, what he uh, gets back. But we've got already lost a captain there without really getting anything. Now, warships are pretty much out after anyone who doesn't have a letter of mark. The only effect of the attack history is whether or not you can go into the ports of that country. It's kind of a weird thing. The letter of mark may not protect you against a warship either. Um, there's a table to make that work. You have to pick those up as random events. They come uh, as a bonus. All right, so we got our new leader here, Emmanuel Wynn. Um, He's also too cunning. Now, I could have used my cunning to re-roll for this guy, but the chances were so low, I took it as a death rather than take the cunning marker. You can see how reluctant I am to use cunning. All right. Well, we're still on low. We'll see if he gets to pass his turn to someone else at this point. Well, luck would have it. Another random event. Ah, I forgot to hit kid here. He's trying to make his way home. He's got a mutiny chance. Joy. Alright, his leadership's only two. He's unable to survive. He's going to blow the cunning here. He spends a point of cunning. Doesn't really have to, but... And he succeeds. And no one can play cunning to try to negate his role. You're only allowed to use it on your own, uh, on rolls that directly affect you, uh, which is kind of nice. Otherwise, people would just pass it back and forth, right? Um, but he's got some real problems with his ship uh, about ready to go down. He just doesn't want to lose another pirate. Taking the cunning last use seems like a minor, a minor uh, pain for that. He's uh, sailing up to Tortuga in order to heal. He's wounded. He's... Uh, Oh, he doesn't have scurvy. Oh, well. Let's not give him that cunning last use. Let's put him back down here where he belongs. I saw that yellow uh, attack flag and thought that was scurvy. Um, okay, so what the random event was, was a king's pardon. I gotta remember that that's not just a letter, a letter of mark. Um... What a king's pardon means is that anyone, it says all pirates save one specified by the drawing player. Well, who am I going to deny this to? I'm going to deny this to, hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, see, I don't know if I want to deny it to Low. Uh, they may deny it to Win here. He's got problems. Uh, that person can either re automatically retire, which isn't normally allowed uh, unless you make a roll. So that can allow you to retire with very little money, which can often win you the game. Um, or get a letter of mark from that country by landing in a port of that nationality. You don't have to try to pay for the letter of mark or anything like that. So that's kind of a cool option. Um, I think I'm going to just deprive low of the opportunity for it. But if another random event comes up, well, actually, no, there's no Spanish over here, so we're not going to hit low with that. That's why we don't want to do that. Yeah, we'll hit win with that. Uh, there's no Spanish. Uh, 
so uh, over there I, I don't know what I'm saying here um, the biggest advantage to it is it allows you to remove an attack history which might make me want to take it away from Taylor but I don't know I kind of like hitting wind so I'm gonna hit wind with it um, it allows you to get the attack history away. The letter of Mark's kind of cool. What it doesn't say is, I think everyone can get it, uh, which is kind of cool. And that might not be a bad idea. Now, obviously, nobody's going to retire. Nobody has any money. And there's somebody with a lot of money out here. So you just will not retire unless you either beat that or you can win the game by getting your notoriety up. Uh, all right. Let me load this one up. Kind of a mess.